In this segment of the Mac OS tutorial on transitioning from Windows to a Mac, I'm going to go over some of those components here in the bottom on the docking area, very similar to the Windows taskbar. So this is where you can launch various applications that are available on this MacBook. Now one of the key components of the docking area or of the Mac OS is the Finder. The Finder is a tool that you can use to locate files in your system. Here we have the Favorites area. The Favorites area is just stuff that you're constantly referencing or wanting to access. As we open Finder on the top, we have the Finder options. So you have the preferences for Finder, the various services and so on. And then under File, we have different settings. So if you don't see something in here, you can always go to the menu on the top and try and change and look at the various settings. Airdropping is if you want to send something to a contact that is nearby you to share it with them. And under Recents, this would be documents that you have been working on and you have accessed recently. Then under Applications, this is where all the applications on this system will uh, show up. Typically, any of these applications, if you want them as part of the dock, you can simply drag it from the Finder to the docking area, and that's how you pin one of the applications as part of the docking area. The other section is the iCloud area. The iCloud is where you have the various items that you're synchronizing with this account on iCloud. Under Shared, this is files that show up through iCloud that are shared with you. Under Network Locations, this is where you can scan for other devices in your network. And then further down, this is where you can access components based on tagging of those components. So if I tag this as green and I want the system to be categorizing them by color, whenever I go down here and I look for any of the green items, notice it will list this because it was tagged as green. The desktop, so these are stuff that are on the desktop. If I want something to show up on the desktop, I can copy in something in here it will be displayed as part of the desktop area. Under Documents, this is where all the items that are under your documents in this system will display. And then further down here, you have the Downloads area, very similar to Windows. Here on the top, this is where you can select how you want to display these items within the Finder, within the File Explorer, if we were to use a Windows terminology. So you can have them to display as icons and it will look like this, or you can have them as lists or columns or as gallery. So for example, gallery is giving us a, a preview of the document and then information about the document and various tags for it Next to it, we have uh, how we want to sort these files. Obviously, I could sort them by name or sort them by kind or by date modified and so on. So unlike Windows, one of the cool features is, is that you can share just like in an iOS device or in a phone device here in a MacBook because it's, everything is so tightly integrated between mobile and desktop or laptop in this case, you can share stuff directly from your Mac. So if I click here on the share, I can airdrop it, I can email it, I can send a text message, or I can add it as part of notes, or even more options from here. Next to it, we can uh, select to edit the tags for a particular item that we have selected. And then below, how do you want to group stuff? And uh, also other options that you could check for yourself or to delete things as well. On the far right, this is how you search for files. Now, obviously, I do not have that many things here, but if I wanted to search for anything with Mac, notice it will display all those items that have that word in it. Again, keep in mind that you can use these menus here on the top as well. But one of the other key components to remember under the Go area, you can actually go to various areas in your computer. By default, if you notice, you don't see the, similar to like we see in Windows, the C drive, the root of the C drive and all that type of stuff. It doesn't display it by default as part of the Finder. However, you can go here under the Go area and click on Computer. You can navigate the 
hard drive of this PC. This would be like the C drive equivalent on a Windows machine. So we double click here and then this is where you can see the users, the system files, the various applications and so on. And if I go to users, you can see very similar structure like we see in Windows. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you are connecting to a server system in a workplace environment and you need to map a network file and to do that, you'd need to go in the go area and then go to connect to server and then this is where you enter the server name. You typically need to put those two slashes and then you'd click on connect and then it will prompt you to enter your credentials. You can also add favorite servers by clicking on add. And I can't demonstrate this part right now because I'm not connected to a, a corporate network. But once you add those favorite servers, they'll be listed here for future use. Also, the map drives that will show up here in the locations area in Finder. Those are some of the features and the, this is some of the functionality with using Finder in Mac OS.